Welcome to a world where we can paint the wind with all the colors that we want to. It's time to look unto our star of stars and let some butterflies of love come and uh, land on your head. If the dove of love sits there a while, then we can mount up on eagle's wings, the most regal eagle of the eon, and as an if infinity is endlessly, we can go forth to, to see the, and behold the most beautiful colors of the wind, even the colors of the parrots aflight, the macaws of scarlet blue and scarlet uh, <laughs> reds and emeralds and vibrant and flocks of flamingos pink as can be and all around the world let our words of love hope peace and faith moving forth as a wildfire of, of love that can never be satisfied for love is not even love unless it is given away so it's time to let our love be as the colors of the wind as we arise and flight uh, in the oneness of all wanting to ascend unto the highest heights. For our star of Bethlehem is calling us to ascend far beyond the colors of the wind. And so he lifts us up as high as we dare to go. But we must not look back from whence we came for only beauty, glory, honor, and power is his in the days to come. Our living Messiah who is forthcoming in this world and he is sending his message of love for all that would listen to all that is before them and, and see the most beautiful, vibrant beauty of the wind. And so it's in this hour, it's time that we will learn how to go ape as we paint the colors of the wind with all the colors of the wind. And when we do, my friends, Mickey and many are going to be so delighted because it's been a festering world of fears and tears. So we must learn to cast away uh, our fears with our most perfect love. Otherwise, we have no faith whatsoever. And at the end of the day, it's time that we celebrate this vibrant song of love. And I am Daniel, coming to you from uh, Canada. And uh, so I invite you to the glory of what is the um, uh, one of the most beautiful songs that I have ever heard. And uh, so one thing is for sure, it's time that we listen to the ocarina of um, Freckle Zelda. I gotta confess, I was listening to this and it actually, I started to cry at one moment. Vanessa Williams, watch out. Beautiful voice. The good news is we can, and the good news is we shall, but all good birds of a feather will flock together, and it's time to ascend the highest note, the, the greatest climax, and so for all people of love, uh, it's a time for excitement, and it is a time for colors of the wind to become um, glorious. So I welcome you. And I lost my poor little uh, butterfly. He flew away. You know, it's written that uh, that which we love we must set free. 
If it flies away, if it comes back, it is yours. If it does not, it never was. Well, my butterfly better stick there now because I got some heavy glue on there. But one thing is for sure, this is a blessed hour to reflect on what colors of the wind really mean when beautiful birds of a feather flock together. And just as there are countless varieties of birds, there are countless varieties of people claiming this religion or that religion, but yet we are all birds. <laughs> so it's time that we need to fly high in the sky and realize that that's what birds have been for. Uh, watch my video, uh, Leonard Skinner, uh, Free Bird, because you know what is true. A free bird cannot change. It will never allow itself to be caged. And so, too, do we need to be if we want to receive the very best uh, blessings of what we could have in store. And so in, in this uh, hour, it's, it's really time to uh, celebrate. And uh, I will be right back. starting to have technical difficulties but we none of us will have any difficulties if we go with the flow of love against the wind of racism uh, because the wind is full and the tide is is with us uh, if we will sail away with the very best good news of the colors of the wind let us be as as flocks of canaries yellow and bright Orioles mixed in flight. Let us be like Jonathan Livingston Seagull, free, a light, a light unto all that will mount up on eagle's wings. And these are the days to pull up anchor and to set sail for new kingdom age gospel truths of love finally unshackled so that everyone can plainly come to see that love has never even been love unless it's been able to be given away freely. So blessed are all those not fighting against their heart's deepest desires of love, hope, peace, and faith. For whatsoever and whosoever wishes to have such shall buy it at the cost of their own liberated souls. So let all free birds now ascend high by the eagle and the dove as the lion and the lamb roars out their very best bahs. Uh, as that lamb-hearted lion of his noble prides of love now choose increasingly to commit to not being unkind, to, to liking Daniel's videos <laughs> would be a help. Uh, and to leaving a comment of kindness sometime to prove to me that I'm, I don't have a loveless world watching me uh, and saying, look, look at that loving guy. Let's snap him. <laughs> oh, I can forgive y'all. Don't worry about that. I'm not trying to be hard on you, but it's time to commit to not being ignorant to one another. Um, and it's time for us not to be mindless sheep anymore roars our lion of Zion. He wants a pride. That is the name of a lion's family. And since our Lamb of God is lion-hearted in every incredible way, as his overflowing glory now gushes out of heaven's floodgates, uh, so shall it be the time when our love's greatest hopes can finally be won, as death and all unloving ways are suddenly turned inside out and outside in and turned back suddenly at the gates of hell's most fiery gates that are definitely all ablaze with our former rate racism and former hatefulness based on ignorance alone. So let the great jubilee of jubilees begin. So blessed are all those who can start letting go of what they are so that they can become a much better version of what they really can become instead. And let everyone wanting to celebrate now come to see with eyes wide open that our Lord's most blessed wind uh, is really, really full, and it's full of his most wondrous wonder and his most marvelous marvel. And for the, the glory of that which
which is the magnificence of his beneficence, his benevolence, his adoration, his charity for us, his good tidings and good vibes and warm fuzzies can all come forth if we will just sail away with that wind. And so it's time to realize it's, these are the days of Elijah, the days of the latter day Daniel, Daniel 12, 13, that foretold. Uh, and so in this hour, our living refiner's fire is blazing like an inferno of charity and an inferno, that inferno of inferno will make a path where there has seemed to be none other because it's now causing the reddest fires of beauty to begin sparkling above us like the most precious star rubies imaginable so that by his word he can also color the wind for he is our priceless pearl of great reward, the treasure of excellence, and the excellence of treasure that's calling us out into the deep where our passion of love can flow. For the ocean of his adoration has always been bottomless. And so know the great reward is awaiting all of his faithful few who will head out to the deepest deeps of love, peace, and hope, which he is as he mounts up uh, in total gospel truth. And so it's time to dive into his deepest living water because it is alive with the greatest imagined vibrance uh, and that will help us paint with all the colors of the wind. And because it is the wind of the Holy Spirit blowing, the wind of goodness in action, the wind of salvation has come. And is nothing I have given, nothing I could do. It is all what he has done for us. Never has it been important what we have done for him. For he is alive, painting the wind of our, our souls, if we will follow his, his lead. So follow that rainbow boat, because it's only a ship if it uh, is going to sail. Uh, well, I guess, no, it technically could be a boat. But one thing's for sure, the most amazing zest of all kaleidoscope winds uh, will now blow at our backs. And they shall be our most colorful winds that first came forth from he who is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. For he is the master artisan and the master painter because he is our carpenter of the ages alone. And for as his very best good tidings came forth, all those beholding the utter magnificence of his beneficence in action as a child shall evermore uh, sing his praises because his mercy truly shall endure forever. And so in this day it's time to receive shock of his overflowing splendor of that majesty of majesties, most majestic majesty uh, that is like the sweat of his very own glorious glory that just keeps rolling off of his whipped, scarred back of many former tortures. But he is the overcomer teaching us how to paint the winds of change with love and loving kindness. For if we cannot love others that we can see, we can never truly love a God that we cannot. We're lying to ourselves. So all hail unto our living artist of the wind of his greatest amazement, and let the Easter leaves be infused by the brownest color of the condors ascending, and let let the Lord's creativity paint them darkly and let the color of westerly winds come alive with the whitest color of hundreds of swans, hundreds of swans gliding onto golden glistening ponds. Uh, nor is there any doubts whatsoever that the divinely inspired colors of the wind are a most amazing blessing that's now prophetically painting all of our skies as beautiful sizzling rainbow uh, that will be totally electrified by the most amazing presence of our living Lord of love hope and faith and peace in action who is our Lord thereof. 
for the bluest sea of love's totally forgotten forgetfulness is now truly painting the most beautiful colors of the wind aquamarine for love's golden age that is turned now pale platinum uh, has finally come so that the age of Aquarius can now be embraced for the emerald ruby winds of the Lord's kingdom age changes of blessedness that he is sending forth as a gently blown kiss in the wind of our greatest desire for he alone is the desire of all nations for he alone is love and so may everyone embrace that blessedness so as their softest pillows and as their warmest comforter and may the wind of blessedness paint the wind with all colors of the rainbow uh, so that uh, our supercharged hope uh, of love's greatest thunder can roll and let not any lightning strikes of unforgiveness make anyone into a defeated non-overcomer just a, don't just be another love that has grown so very cold and as the storm of hatred of hatred's most diabolical unkindness could ever blow uh, know that just as unkind winds have blown so too even if they have almost blown themselves out so too can they be rejuvenated quick and made alive again quickened and awakened uh, so that they can have new hearts full of joy's very best happiness uh, so that they can finally allow their love's most fervent passion of peacefulness to color the winds uh, of all that is around them so that uh, love can strike them like a thunderbolt and so very deep in their hearts as they color the wind bright red for the new heart of flesh as their black heart fades into yesteryear and know that as peace's most serene tr tranquility becomes rolling thunder of love that will come forth to paint all the winds like a beautiful rainbow blue and red and green and yellow all are precious in his sight and so it's time that he wants to bring us total freedom against all fear and against all shame and against all dishonor as he throws away and helps us to see as Isaiah 25 so that he throws away all condemnation over us uh, and so read that please but these are the days the Lord is saying I will be your God you shall be my people I shall forgive your iniquity and I shall never remember it again I shall write my law and my love upon your hearts and beyond that as I paint the wind with mercy and as I paint the wind with kindness and as I paint the wind with my very own blood that was shed before the foundation of the earth for all people of love. He says, as I do that, I shall never ever need to be taught of any more. For all people of love who will let their love move as a child shall know me, for I am love and live within them, First John 4, 7. And so in this hour, as the thunder of love's most passionate passion ro rolls like a strike after strike down at the corner uh, bowling alley. As that happens, it's time to start rocking and rolling to the crashing and clanging sounds of love's most sizzly, sizzling, uh, rolling thunder of some brand new kingdom age hopes. So praise ye the Lord, all people of love, all ye faithful few, for that creator of love's most heavenly artwork of glory painted by the master's very own hand because he paints with all the colors of the wind. And he has always been clothed in the mightiest rainbows of living color. So behold his most, most breathtaking flashes of lightning rolling as thunder with the oneness thereof. So may the most 
beautiful topaz blessings now emerge as colors of the wind. And uh, let the maroon colors come forth and let the scarlet be. And for let it be a happy scene for all those desiring ruby dreams and amethyst wishes so that we can all embrace all the colors of the wind so that we can indeed all, all paint with all colors again since red and blue and green and white are all most precious in his all-seeing sight so let all watching out for uh, our shining diamond winds glistening and shimmering with the gleam of the Lord's glee uh, let his gay heart be shining with the greatest brilliance and let all those embracing that our Lord of love witness his miracle as he paints the wind of our canvases over with new sunny sunrises of love that will destroy all gross darkness so that our frowns can be finally turned upside down and smiles can pierce the skies again. So it's time that our Lord of love, uh, we need to give him absolutely all honor, strength, and glory. And may the glorious power uh, be zapped right up by everyone who's willing to get a love's greatest shock of their lifetimes if they will be willing to paint with all the colors of the wind and to mount up and be like a free bird that cannot change. Time to go out for freedom uh, and it's time for the liberation of our souls and it is written in Hebrews 8 that when you hear the words I will be your God you shall be my people that all faith aside from faith and love is fully obsolete painted that way by the colors of the wind of the Holy Spirit and so in this hour it's time for our heart of hearts to fry let them fry in days burning as an oven Malachi 4, uh, because if they fry, they can experience the most electrified sizzle of uh, unloving hearts repenting. So, uh, and let us repent unto our, our northern star, because it is our star of Bethlehem alone who is our star of star, the glorious shining star of stars that will lead us in the right way. So Behold that everlasting star of Bethlehem, for he is our carpenter of the ages who will teach us all how to be painters as well. He's a good one for restoration, but if the restoration of his love does not come, as Acts 3.21 says, he would be kept in reserve in heaven and could not ever return. So the great restoration is now. He is the carpenter of the ages, and he's going to teach us all how to paint with all the colors of the wind. But to do that, all colors of man must fly as one flock of bird. And nor is there any question that he alone has risen as the good shepherd over all the flocks of men who shall now become free birds flying high into the heavenly sky. And so let all people ascend who are willing to be free birds that will not change because it's time to ascend upon the pinkest color of wind infused by thousands of flamingos and raise high into the most heavenly skies as the dove of love helps us in setting setting upon the most regal eagles of the eagles eons so that you can mount up on eagles wings uh, and so it's time for our winds to be painted yellow by the most blessed sunshines so let us be as flocks of uh, cardinals and uh, tweety birds little canaries uh, it's time for his most radiant resplendence to come and it shall evermore shine and paint all colors of the sky uh, 
all over the circle of the earth because it will cover the earth like the wind has painted beautifully with the reddest wings of hundreds of red-winged blackbirds and we shall fly as one and as the wise shine as the sun of love uh, that is reflecting so much brand new hopes let the most purple color of peacock tails now paint all the winds of love's very best signs uh, for the sake of his everlasting beauty of our creator's most absolute uh, amazement and let the orangest colors of the wind be infused with thousands of the color of orioles and uh, let the glory of a million penguins come forth in their finest tuxedos and let that glory of the penguins go before them so that their Sunday go to meeting attire can shine back most radiantly unto he who is the only king. And as the silver winds of change tra transform into golden ones, as golden eagles rip the skies, the most vibrant color of the winds of love shall help us all to see that every rock and tree and every creature has a life, everyone has a spirit, and everyone truly has a name. Uh, so ask yourself if you've never heard the wolf cry to the bluest uh, blue, blue corn moon, or ask the grinning bobcat why he grinned time to realize that you can now sing with all the voices of the grayest mountain uh, and all the colors of the wind may we all paint uh, all the grayest colors of the gray gnat catchers that flocks over their highest peaks and you can uh, color with the love and kindness of the paint of all the colors of the wind and so we will never have to wonder anymore and uh, so can such ignorant souls repent uh, of their fast fading love and can they paint with any colors of the wind other than the blackest black and the blackest blackbirds infusing the winds of their darkest darkness being like old flocks of crows where a song lives no more and let all those wanting happily ever afters to realize that they could ig cannot ignore all the colors of the wind uh, because if they do, they'll only end up being like flocks of ostriches, all sticking their heads into the sand. So as the most glorious colors of blessedness shine ever so brightly, that they won't be able to see the thunderstorm uh, and the river be every smart soul's brothers. So it's time that all creation joins together and let the cranes and the heron, uh, the cranes and the herons and the otters, let them all choose to be our friends for one and all of everything are connected to each other because all together paints with all the colors of the wind. And in a great divine circle, within a supernaturally natural group that could never possibly end. Together, only together, do we really begin to paint with all the colors of the wind. So as you color the winds of love's greatest creation with the loving imagination born of the song, imagine, imagine a brotherhood of the oneness of man, as John Lennon foresaw and realize that he was right after all as we begin coloring the world together. Since the world uh, has always been one from the very beginning, even though we might not have seen it. So ask yourself, how high does the sycamore grow? God knows. Because if it were to be cut down, then we would never know. And so when you hear the wolves cry to the blue corn moon, whether we are white or copper skinned, it has never mattered, yet red and yellow, black and white, all are precious in his sight. 
but as we reject our past disunity so that we can paint with all colors of the wind, we need to begin singing with all the voices of the mountain since we all need to be painting uh, all of our black and white realities into all the most beautiful peacock colors of the wind. So let all artisans of heavenly imagine patriotic winds of blue and yellow for the king of the south to be saluted by all the nations of the world because that is our future if Ukraine goes down. And so know that it's time that Ukraine's most valiant winds of victory will now evermore be shining forth a thousand spotlights upon Russia's crippling defeats uh, for the morale of all of their soldiers. They know that they're just being marching orders of uh, mindless. So it's time that that accursed red army of colorless winds of no damn good, it's time that they have their very own shame re regretfully discovered by themselves because all they want to do is steal the most beautiful color from the wind. They want to steal the most beautiful stars from out of the night sky for their government's antichrist, World War Z, shall yet become that if we won't begin painting all the colors of the wind. So it's time for our us to all awake, and it's time for awaking Russians to finally see that the most pitiful truth that Vladimir Putin, Mr. Putrid Putin, has always had is that uh, we, he will always feel like there's never enough death, never enough for his tarnished towers of gold are collapsing all over Russia, saith the Lord God, like Jenga blocks on steroids. So blessed are all of those of the Lord's arising kingdom age who are willing to paint with all the colors of the wind, for they shall most certainly come to see that nothing is absolutely more active than his love, as it consumes the universe like a a wild fire, for he is the fire that will light our wicks, and nothing is far stronger than our necessity to submit to such glorious hope that is going to paint with all the colors of the wind. And so it's time, most blessed are all those seeing that our, all of our past understandings are of no importance. Uh, all of our understandings have been like filthy rags in compared to the Lord's transcendent love. So let's fly together and let's reach for the sky. It's time. So may the mercy of the Lord go with you all as we all learn to paint with all colors of the wind.